Previously on Last Stop. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Let's go. Ah, uh, I got the Twitch icon up instead of the YouTube. I'm on the wrong one. Hold up. Chapter three. I really should have been. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, it's cool. So, what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. Um. We're going to have to. Oh, for heaven's sake. Let him finish. This sounds fun. First order of business, 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. I should tell you, I'm not known for my timekeeping. Well, you better step up. Amy won't take any crap. Oh, sorry, Molly, pardon my French. Jack loves Amy. I do not. Can we get back to this, please? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit scene. coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no phone. 7.53, consume beverage. 7.55, fall asleep on train track. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. <laughs> okay, now he's messing around. Uh, let's get it. So, I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. Okay. So, I'll just go up to her and say... All right, love. Pardon? Dad, no. Try and bring it into the 21st century, yeah? 
Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. I'll pick some up after work. Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She could talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. That's crazy holiday having to act as somebody else. That's hard. So, like getting everything plan. down packed. What was the deal with that piss the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? Oh, him? Don't worry about that. But since you asked, he's actually a great guy. You know, salt of the earth type. So are we going for this run or what? He's a misunderstood character. A lot of hidden depths. Keep up if you can. Wow, I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. You spent enough time on the treadmill. Oh, I imagine I come across quite self-absorbed. Well, you're no role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit-chat. You're giving me a stitch. Come on. Let me hear it. Yeah, what is I it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me. You're a total workaholic and a massive geek. So, I'm not a criminal or anything? No. That was great. I feel fantastic. So, when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You alright? What do you mean? I've never felt better. I'll call you tomorrow. No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean, story? Well, um, to avoid suspicion yesterday, I had to make up a cover story on the spot, and I told her that we're related. Huh? Welcome to the family, Jack. <laughs> Gotta get this one right too. Oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious brother. All right, bruv. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hello. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like growing up with John as an older brother? Um, you know, John. <laughs> he was a great example to me. Maybe the man I am today. Ah, Jack's being modest. Well, I can't take any credit that I've pulled himself up by his bootstraps. A self-made man, I'd say. So how long's Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. We'll, well see. you can discuss it. What's there to discuss? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? What? I just here and there. He was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping. No, too so much. John. I think you're boring her. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super-rich. Rain it in a bit, John. Well, that all I think I'm messing up. I hope life isn't too slow-paced for you while you slum it with us. Well, I'm going to head off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. She believed us, though. Submarines. Too much. So, so what is it that you do for a job, anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I, I work in design. I'm an artist. 
Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up and things. It's awesome. And what does a creative do when he's at home? Sounds made up. I'm a software artist. You know, video games. That's so cool. Oh, thanks. Yeah, not not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free-to-play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition. Cutting-edge stuff. Uh-huh. I played this game where you had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. I remember playing this one back in the day that was set on this weird island. It had puzzles and stuff. You do that one, Jack? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. So where do you work? Superfab. It's not far from your office, actually. And people pay you to do this? Yeah. Some people say game makers are the new rock stars. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Could I put Molly in your game, Jack? Is that even possible? Let's just try to get through the first day to begin with, yeah? I'll walk you through it. Don't forget... I need to yeah, be taking gonna be hard to do point. that as another person. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. Well, that's a bit cruel. She sounded nice on the phone. You're mean, Jack. How old are you, anyway? Eight and a half. Good age. I should about to say 18. Why? Dunno. <clears throat> how is he gonna sneak past her? Like, how can she not see him? Ain't no way. What? Hello, stranger. Wait, did I mess it up? I'm just trying... There was no way we was gonna sneak past anyway. You look well rested. Yeah, it's like the whole weekend. Anyway, I should probably just get going. Someone's in a hurry. Yup. Get in there, Jack, uh, my son. Good morning! What is he on? Derek's in a good mood. Who is that? Right, Derek. Yeah, the office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. Let's just right. Go. Let's go. Yeah. I'm completely not with it this morning. I should probably get going. Hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Can I go work? Ha! <laughs> oh yeah, um, it was fun. Turned into a bit of a piss up with the lads though, to be honest. While trekking in Nepal. Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Talk. <laughs> uh, bye. So, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good with stuff like that. Thanks for the encouragement. It's simple, trust me. Joan's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs. Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. And Maya is midway through implementing rumble support. So fire. You may as well be speaking German. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. It'll make you cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. Uh, 
hello. Um, I think I'm gonna have to remember weekends, that. Like everyone, me remember it. Get up to anything interesting? And I don't think I just remember what he just said. Okay, um, let's see. Or I could look at the stream. So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check that. what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. Uh, what was hers? You know, my uh, my my Jonah, 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 Jonah cakes. Okay. You are modeling cream cakes, aren't you? I'll take the silence as an agreement. Okay, Letitia. Letitia shell shot. Wait, what? Shell shot. Oh, You're doing no. something with AI? No, no, I A they for don't retirement homes. Say home. that. Yeah, sounds right. Okay, Tobias. Tobias is funerals. I believe you're looking at a funeral procession. Good luck with that. I'm going to assume that's correct. And finally, Maya. Maya Rumble. You're rumbling. Rumbling. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Look. Even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. I mean, I remembered what you were all working on, but I'm sure you already knew that anyway. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. I'm sorry that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just Probably leave you with the advice that might have to me on my 18th birthday. Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Cheers. That's a tough thing to do. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! Yeah, what's so wrong with this, though? Hey, yo. So I don't understand you. Um, um, hello, child. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. I am Mr. Clapton. Mrs. Clapton. Cream to go. I'm not reading all that. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Uh, he must be trying to show him how to do it. That's what's the name. I know it. Headshot. Oh, no. Nah, that's the weirdo. On, Let's have our catch up. Okay. He too happy. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit. And then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprised how these things go. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. You mean work overtime? It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. We'll keep any seven-day stints to it. But if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Dang. Hang on. Dang, he can't There's no do way nothing. I'm working weekends stuck. for a silly computer game. Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... 
I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. Yeah, don't say that, don't say that. I'll set an example, all right? Bloody cheek. Bro, don't you raise your voice bro, to stop. me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Passion? I'll show you what you can do with your passion. Oh, I think he just got on fire. Dang, I was like, it was no other options. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, John. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. Jack got fired. Tell me she's joking. No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. Okay, well, well, maybe I did get a little bit fired. Told you. Between you and me, I think that Clive fellow overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. This is a disaster. It's all good. We've still got my job, and no offence, but it pays better too. I'll sort your pay slip. Yeah, but now you gotta pay for both. Here's the thing. Uh oh. Uh... Everything okay? Something go wrong? I'll put the kettle on. Wait. What? You got fired as well? Put your hey, so day, right? Both of them got fired. Oh, this is not happening. Oh, I see. This guy, they got me confused. Oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, that's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah, I'll have a quarter. <laughs> a quarter? You'll get what's left, mate. Hey, but now it's time to sleep.